Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can back up your Kubernetes cluster using a service that Google already provides in GCP. Uh, this really should not be your primary backup process. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to have your pipeline deploy everything to production so that if there's ever need to restore, you can just deploy the last release that you had. So you have the exact same uh, content of the release that we had last time. But for in case of emergencies or some kind of disaster recovery or any of those uh, crazy situations, it is good to have a backup that is outside the CI/CD pipeline that is something you can go to as your last resort. So um, I already have some of these steps actually take uh, anywhere between five to 10 minutes. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show you the steps uh, as part of the demo, but I've already done them. So I can show you exactly what I have done. So we, I have a cluster with three nodes here. Um, before you can enable backup um, on this cluster, you have to set two, we have, you have to enable two different things and each one takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes to get done. The first one is you want to go to, um, uh, let's see, um, on the, if you go to cluster, you under, under uh, security, I believe, uh, your work, workload identity, you can see this enabled, it wasn't earlier. You have to enable that for as a as step number one before you can start uh, playing with uh, backups. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to um, the nodes, and there's a default node pool that has to enable metadata. For example, so if you go down here uh, under metadata, there's DC instance metadata. You have right now is enabled, so you have the option to disable right now. That's because I already have enabled that. And again, that itself took uh, anywhere between five to 10 minutes to get done. Once you've done both of those things, you can now come enable the backup in the settings for the clusters. If I go to the clusters, cluster settings, there's GKE backup here someplace. Um, yeah, backup, backup for GKE. It's enabled only because I've done the other two first two steps. Once you've done that, then you click on backup for GKE. Uh, there's a silly step you have to do. You have to create a backup plan. It kind of it asks you maybe three or four questions. So now you have a plan. You can also attach a schedule to that if you want. Once you have a plan, and right now I, I, I've, I've done it here, you can actually start a backup. Now I'm not gonna do that right now. The backup took maybe three to four minutes to finish. Uh, once you've done that, now you have a backup um, at your hand. Once again, for restoring, you, you have to create a restore plan. Once again, you have to answer three or four questions to create a plan. Only when you've done that, can you actually use restore to do that. So for example, right now, if I click on backups, I have this backup and I can click on set up a restore. And this one, I believe didn't take a whole lot of time. So I'm just gonna try to do it live and give it a name, second restore, because I've already done one before. And okay, restore. Oh, doesn't like that that it starts with, with a number, so I will have to use a letter. Second restore, and we do restore. And I believe if I go here, I will see the progress of this. Oh. Give me a second. Let's go to cluster. Let's go to backups. Let's go to restores. And as you can see, both my restores succeeded. The one that I created before the video and the one that I did live, it took three to four seconds and the cluster is restored. You have the choice of when you do restore, you do have the choice of restoring to a new volumes for all your data, or you can also override the active data. It gives you a warning saying, hey, you could potentially corrupt the data if the cluster is actively being used. So you can choose whichever, whichever works for you. I hope this was useful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That really helps me out. And we will see you next time.